There we go. So now we have three places over. So I could give this one one, two, three. That would make sense. We could give those three places away. Can't have any more clans. So 13, I need two more provinces and we can make another clan. But yeah, I guess I can make these guys a tributary. But Kalu Kid, you are next on my list. Once we destroy this army, we're going to go attack Kalu Kid. He does have quite a few men. Not too many, though. But he does have his vassals. So we don't know how many they have. Okay. Vassal inheritance worry. Why should I be worried? He's got a band. Okay. Not really sure why I should be worried. Insufficient land management. Okay. So you can pillage it. Okay. That's fine. Wrong type of holding, still here. Yeah, I probably want to give this one away to this guy as well. But I don't want to make him too strong. One, two, three, four, five. I'll give him five places. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. Okay, that's that's probably kind of fine, actually. I could probably give him that as well. He likes me a lot now as well. So that's good. We'll keep it for now. Population. He still has a big population, actually. And I've lost a lot of population. 15,000 now. We'll keep it like this for now. But yeah, with all our armies going back down, these guys are still going to go and attack them. It's going to take them a long time. As soon as we've got our armies together and things kind of look sorted, we'll then attack Kalu Kid. And they were at war, obviously, of Tura. They're attacking for this. Now, what could I attack you for? Conquest, make a tributary now. Nah. Invasion. We can't do invasion. We have too many men. We don't have enough men. 23,000. Subordination. Eh, that's quite small. Pachang. I know there's one I liked. This one. Yeah, we want this one. Subordination of that. Nearby Tengri rulers may join him. That could be a problem. That could really be a problem. Kingdom of Uga. Kingdom of Katan. I could make a kingdom title. We don't need them, to be honest. Barony, city, we have too many places there. But yeah. Okay, let's look at our council then. So we have a lot of new people now, so let's go for our council. Let's make you a member of our council then, make him like us a bit more. Possibly one day. Yeah, probably won't work. Okay, that guy now likes us, so that's good. Blush likes us. The religion, um, independence faction. Okay, and we wanted to have a sky. Oh, we can't have a sky burial. It's too late. Oh, no. I thought we'd still be able to do it. That was my fault. I did not know that would disappear. Ugh. Oh, well, not much we can do about that now. Oh, they're attacking them as well. Hopefully we can get them in time. No, it's going to take us ages. 30th of October. What, what is going on here? Why does it take so long? But yeah. I think we're doing quite well at controlling our clans right now. Probably should give us some more places. We should probably build something as well. Uh, sheep. I want to get clan sentiment. Now that we've become quite a big clan and we have clans of our own, we probably need them to like us a bit more. I know one of these does that. Clan Gathering. Clan Sentiment plus two. Okay. Oh, there's so much to build. Clan Gathering Hall, 59. That's fine. Okay, almost time. There we go. We should be able to destroy them. Get rid of that clan. And there we go. Let's chase him down. Commander. We need a new commander. Okay. Who would be the best commander? I think this... Oh. Morale defense. He actually lowers it. A lot of these guys are pretty bad, actually. So, I, I, you'll be good for now. We have a lot of soldiers, actually. Yeah. There would be too many. Our manpower is going up, though. That's fine. Though I'd fought him to be a more reasonable man, allow the duel. So we'll get all our men together, and then we'll look to go west. Definitely would be my next plan. 
Why are people keep they keep raiding us? God damn it. Stop it. Go away. Destroy them. 27. Okay, just a few more days and we can destroy them. I think things are going quite well so far. We, we started out as a subordinate clan. We've managed to rise up. Basically, I've become one of the stronger clans. We've got some vassals. I have a new heir. Core has now become the heir again. My family are still in my vassal's jail, which is uh, kind of a bit of an asshole move since I released all his family. Then again, do I really care about my half-brothers? He would not release them. God damn it. No. What what an what an asshole. That is just that's just ridiculous. But like I said, I think he'll probably die soon. 64 years old. He's not gonna last much longer. And he's uh he's pretty strong though. He still has a big army, two thousand. That's probably something to worry about. He needs eight hundred. Maybe I should give him this land and him this one. I still need to give one more away. I guess I could give this one. Oh, Kutan. They're really fighting it out to see who can become the heir right now. Sympathy for pagans. Interesting. Okay. They're both so Astrian, though, so it could be interesting. If I die, I become one of them. We'll go back to having the goal to, you know, reform Zoroastrian. Well, not reform, but take it all back. I don't think you need to reform it, do you? Nah, don't think so. Okay, it takes so long to travel anywhere, Jesus. Yeah, I think I'm just going to give you this, just to lower the clan sort of problems. Because uh, you'll probably die, you probably won't declare war on me. And I have such a big army right now, we should be fine. So we're giving him that one. Uh, you can have Kocho. Yeah, have that one. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now I'm kind of out of that area. But yeah, so now we have this area. This area is mine. Um, I have one more over Clan Land Demand. Let's end the feud. Come on, settle feud. No, damn you. Damn him. But yeah, so we have one more. He has five, he has four. Um, I have six. So I could easily give one away to this guy. That would make it, you know, uh, six, five, four. Oh, yeah, we, we probably want to give him one more. That would probably be the idea, wouldn't it? Carlo Kid is having a, a few problems still. Okay. Carlo Kid Kaganate. He has quite a big army right there. 25th of June. We're going to have all our men together, finally. Then I'll probably attack. His men are in my territory. Then again, he actually does have a lot of men, doesn't he? The Bulgars are helping as well. Ooh, that's actually pretty big armies he has there. Yeah. He's actually not doing too bad. Maybe I should be much more worried than I actually was. Yeah. I probably should be more worried than I was. Maybe he's more dangerous than I thought. Damn it. The question is, though, should I attack now to help Kyrgyz? They'd only lose one province. What's the uh, war score at the moment? 69%. Okay. So we could attack. We could race straight in there into the steppe. He's got men up here. We could just race straight in there, destroy them. He probably won't be able to join. And they're his allies, so it doesn't mean his allies would join him. So his allies might not even join him. And some of these are his allies. There's the clan, and these are mostly Bulgar. So if the Bulgar don't join, we should be fine. It would be nice to take that. I want to go further west, really, now. That's really the main aim next. We want to go west. Oh, West Frank here has taken over. Uh, what happened to Middle Frank here? Where's the capital? Where is the capital? I, I, am I gone blind? Is it because it's blue? I have no idea. Oh, here it is. Ah, Carloman. Carloman took over. Died from slow fever. So Carloman, for once, has 
taken over the whole of Francia's. Saxony as well, Aquitaine, East Francia. His son, his son will take over next. Interesting, that's kind of cool to see. Wait, wait, does he have Gavelkind? He does have Gavelkind. So that means it will probably split up between his two sons. And his second son is pretty good. Wolfaria. Oh, and we have Carpathia. What is this? What's Carpathia? So he's formed the Empire of Carpathia. Interesting. So Pannonia has formed an empire. That's kind of cool. Okay. A lot of things are going on then. Other than that, nothing else. Uh, Cilicia is quite big. Um, all the tribal people are fighting amongst themselves. England, you know, the UK looks like UK as it normally does. What is this one? Pataria Kingdom. Don't normally see that. Okay. Huh. Why is it this color? If it's part of the... Okay. Why is the name something else? This is confusing. I guess that's the name of the kingdom. Huh. Why does it say Anuta? Or Anupa? It says Anupa. What's going on there? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to bother looking at that. But the question is, is this the time to attack? Is this the time to attack? So they're going to go north, 30th of June. We wouldn't get there in time, actually. Let's just, let's just send our army forward. Let's see what happens. Look at that, 5,000 men. Like I said, that's because of allies and stuff. So without the allies, he's much weaker. But still. Maybe it's best not to attack him right now. Maybe I should get my manpower up a bit more. Then we can attack. I've basically taken the place of the Uga. Still got his independence faction. The clan sentiment, that's awesome. Yep. Plus 45. Minus 65, that's good. That's good indeed. He still will not settle the few. I, I mean, I can understand why he's upset. I mean, we did take over his lands. And he did used to be my ruler. So uh, I, I can see why he's a bit upset. That makes sense. Did I get married? Oh yeah, I did. I got betrothed. With our one son, he's brave. Good for you. My other brothers are in jail. I forgot to hire my brothers in the war. God, I always forget to do that. I want to hire their mercenary companies and give them money. I always forget. Kazaria seems to be working their way in a bit. Bit of a mess at the moment. Yeah. Other than that, things kind of, yeah, things look the same. I like this Carpathia, though. That's kind of nice. And it's not even a horde. No, it's feudal. But he is a lunatic. And the heir is the Khan of Bulgaria. Oh, good for you, Bulgaria. Dulo. Okay. What the? What is this? Swedish revolt. Ooh, so Sweden's taken over... Denmark. So that means they have this holy site, they have this holy site. They need one more holy site and they can reform the faith. That could be interesting. Okay, we need a new marshal. Um, APAC, I guess you are the best. We'll name you it. Um, go train my warriors. New commander. I. This guy has 10. You both have 10. You have no plus or minus combat modifier. This guy does. So I'm going to name you it. Now, this guy needs to be trained. He's good at three different things, really. Yeah, we'll go for, we'll go for blush. This girl is good at fighting. Perfect. Okay, I've enjoyed the suit so far. He seems to have grown a bit. So the war's over. Yep, he took it from them. He took Tura. Okay. That I should probably should have attacked, shouldn't I? I probably should have attacked. Yep, 
Yeah, probably should have attacked. I'm a little worried though. I could probably defeat them, probably, but I'm not sure. Has 700. The Bulgo are there. That's an 800. I could move into there. Uh, takes the 21st of May, 5th of March. He'd probably be able to catch up. But yeah. Okay, let's get the best men. Uh, this guy, you can be the leader. Lead the charge. You're next. And then we'll have one of us two. Yeah, you're better than me, Burka. Okay, so we'll have, those, we'll have those guys lead in. The question is, do I attack now? Is this the time to attack? Is it really? Can't do invasion yet. I need a lot more men, I think. Oh, no, actually, not, not much more. We could do an invasion at some point. Perm. No, we don't want perm. Turkestan. Eh, it's not much different than the uh, subordination one. Yeah, we get all of that anyway, except for this. And that's probably fine. We probably don't want to be too close to those guys anyway. It could be like a, a buffer. Except other Tengu people could come in to help. With this one, they don't have to. Okay, invasion would be better. No one would actually come help him. So you know what? Let's wait for our population to go up. We're actually quite close to getting it. So that's not too bad. The clans like us. We want to wait for this guy to die as well. So I think we'll be fine overall. Sympathy for Pagan. This guy is actually a Slavic. His heir is of the Slavic faith. That is interesting. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of, I like the idea that people can change their religion as they go off in their mercenary bands. That is kind of nice, actually. I do kind of enjoy that. But things are going well so far. Things are going completely to plan. I say all we need now is to just go west. And we have a pretty big army for that right now. We have an okay army. I guess I could make some more. I think, you know, for, oh shit, I forgot to put you back, didn't I? Let's put you down here. 4,500 is a pretty good amount. Um, we don't have lots more men, and I still have people I could send off to be mercenary companies, so I need I need a few men. I think we'll keep her that for now. I think we should always have a manpower at least above 500. Or probably even more than that. You probably want more than that. Probably more like a 1,000. It seems like when you're fighting, obviously when you lose men, that kind of goes back into your men and allows you to get more men. So it is kind of useful. <laughs> 